Hi everyone, I'm Hector Garcia. I'm an accountant and I love Microsoft Excel. So I wanna show you a couple of new features of Microsoft Excel 2016. So this is the latest version, Microsoft Excel 2016. And the two new formulas I want to show you are concat and text join. Let me give you some context first. If you've been working with the older version of Excel, Excel 2010, 07, even 2013, the only function that we had that allowed us to take data from multiple cells and join them into a single cell was the concatenate formula. So let me show you sort of the old school formula that we used to use. It was concatenate. So I'm gonna put here concatenate. Now notice that in my new Excel 2016, it actually has a little warning sign letting you know that that's an older version of the formula that that's going to be phased out. In other words, uh, old spreadsheets that contain the concatenate formula uh, will still work, but uh, quite possibly maybe Excel 2020, Excel 2025, I don't know, at some point in the next 10 years or so, they'll probably kill this formula altogether and that's going to be replaced with concat. Anyway, um, let's work with concatenate because if you're working with um, Excel 03, 07, 10 or 13, that's the only way to join cells together. So the way that will work is you type concatenate and then within uh, the values, you're going to select each cell and you're going to separate them by a comma. So we did A2 comma, B2 comma, C2 comma, D2, uh, no comma at the end because there's no more, just close the parentheses and then we hit enter. <clears throat> and then you will notice that that's going to join all together. And that's, by the way, that's an awesome formula. I use it all the time. I've been using it uh, for years. Now, if I wanted to have uh, spaces between those, I would have to insert uh, between uh, the, the two uh, pieces of data or all the, all the pieces of data, I would have to insert a cell with a space on it, which is represented by quote, space, quote. So let me show you what that means. So that would be, I would have to put in between two commas. I would have to put quote, space, quote, and then in between this one too, comma, and then I'll do quote, space, quote, and, that, and those become just really confusing. Uh, all these um, quote, space, quotes in between all the formulas. So as long as I was able to insert quote, space, quote, quote, space, quote, here I have an extra comma here by mistake, but um, so let me just delete that one. Um, so as long as I'm able to insert uh, that quote, space, quote, in between the commas of each field and then press enter, then each of them will come in with um, with those spaces. So that's actually pretty good. Once you know that, that's great. If you're working with Excel 03, 10, 11, or 13, that's the way you'll do it. Now let me show you the new concat formula. What concat formula did is, um, we'll forget about the, those blanks for a second. Let's actually revert back to um, adding those uh, spaces. Let's talk about just joining the data together. But what the concat formula did, which is pretty cool, so let me put here concat, or, or notice that I'm not putting uh, concatenate, I'm just stopping at concat, but then I'm gonna select the entire string like this, see? I'm selecting the entire string, I'm not doing commas and selecting each field, which by the way, um, that saves me tons of time, just being able to do that saves me tons of time. So let me go ahead and do that, uh, press enter, let me just have the formulas here on the right side, so you can see uh, the formulas live. So. There's my formula concat A3 to D3, and notice that I didn't have to put cell, comma, cell, comma, cell. Now the new formula is called text join. Text join is awesome, it's amazing. What text join does is that it's sort of concat, but plus the ability to add an additional delimiter. So for example, if I wanted to have last name, um, comma, age, comma, name, and that sort of thing, um, you know, I would have to then do something like this, right? Concat, just do equals, concatenate. And then I would have to select what I want and then do comma. And then I would have to put quotes. Whoops, too fast there. Uh, let me just go back to that one. So I would have to do quotes, comma, quote, and then press comma and then select the first name. And that's the real confusing part 
that I have to do uh, quote, comma, quote. So it has the quote in there. I mean, it has the comma in there and then close the formulas. And you see that actually works pretty well. Now, forgetting about the order of things for a second, let's just say I wanted to join all these things together and I wanted to put um, another delimiter, not a comma, let's say a hyphen, but I, I didn't want to put uh, this comma hyphen, I mean, sorry, quote hyphen quote or anything like that in there. I would use text join. So let me do equals text join, open the parentheses. And then notice that the first one that I have to put is a delimiter. So I'm gonna let it know what's the delimiter that's gonna be in there. So at that point I'll put quote hyphen quote, but again, I'm doing it just once. I'm not doing it per cell. So the next one, I'm gonna hit comma. Then it's asking me, should I ignore empty cells? And by the way, that could be useful for this one that didn't have a middle name, for example, um, for the, the third uh, line there. But for example, uh, let's say I do wanna ignore the, the empty cells, which in this case, there isn't any, but I do wanna ignore them. So I'll select that. Then I'll press comma. And then it says, select the text, which at that point, I can also select them in order, right? So if I wanted to do uh, last name and then do comma, first name, comma, middle name, comma, age. So I did it in order and then I press enter. Um, Excel will actually join them all in order, but I only had to put the delimiter once, which is a real nice thing. Another sort of variation of this, let me just take it, take, uh, move all these here. Let's say for example, the order wasn't my concern, but I did want it to bring them all in one shot. I can do the same thing I can do with the concat, which is basically select the entire range and then uh, close the parentheses. And then notice that it will bring everything together and put those um, delimiters in there. So, so the new features, um, the new formulas for Excel 2016 are concat and text join, and they solve some issues that we've had with concatenate over the years. As I mentioned, concatenate still works, still works pretty well. However, this new concat with the capacity to add ranges and text join for us to pick and choose whether to skip blanks and on top of that, putting just a single delimiter and a date range. You know, So the new text join is an amazing formula. It's gonna save me tons of time when I'm cleaning data, I do a lot of data cleanup for Excel, I mean, for QuickBooks. So I'll clean up like an entire item list. I have to join descriptions together and stuff like that. And this new text join, is gonna save me so much time. So I really strongly recommend that you start playing with it, start using it right away. Um, and obviously if you're working with Excel 2016, enjoy. Now also please subscribe to the channel, hit like, if you particularly like the type of videos that I'm making with Excel, um, let me know by su subscribing and hitting like and add some comments below and, and let me know what type of videos you like to see uh, me do in Excel. Thank you very much.